right, we can go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. The sun is out. Thankfully, the, the days are getting brighter earlier. It's my favorite time of the year. Um, welcome to Thursday Total Body Strength. So I'll go ahead and get right into it. All you're going to need today is a set of dumbbells, and I would definitely recommend having a water bottle nearby so you can get some water um, at any point in time during the class. So we're going to do a circuit today. We're going to start, we're going to do 30 seconds of the first exercise, 30 seconds of the second exercise, and then we're just going to go right on through three times through the circuit, starting at the top, going all the way through. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate what we're going to do today, and then we'll go ahead and get into our warm up, and then we'll get started. So we, um, again, are going to need a set of dumbbells. I can move this down for everyone real quick. So we're going to start off with 30 seconds of bicep curl. So starting with the weight out in front like this, curling up. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. And then we're going to flip them over, up over top. We're going to press for 30 seconds. So our first two exercises are curling and pressing. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to do that three times through, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So then next thing we have our squats. So you can hold the dumbbells here at our shoulders, or you can hold them at your sides, whatever is most comfortable. I personally like the shoulders. So here, if you're going to be shoulder width apart, and from a side angle, I'll show you running without as far as you can, squeeze the glutes and come back up. So we're going to do that. So again, from the front side, squatting down, sitting back up, squatting down. Standing back up. And then the second exercise, we're gonna do our one and a half squats. So we're gonna do the same thing here, but instead of coming all the way back up, we're gonna go all the way down, halfway up, all the way back down, and all the way up. So again, we're doing one and a half squats, all the way down, halfway, all the way down, all the way up. So that's gonna be the second thing that we're gonna do. Again, we're gonna do 30 seconds of the first, 30 seconds of a second and then we'll run through that three times before moving on to the next one. And then our third um, set of exercises are gonna be around the world raises. So we're gonna start with our palms facing out. So palms facing the camera, shoulder blades are pulled down and back. And we're gonna squeeze our shoulders, lift our hands all the way overhead and come back down. So we're squeezing through the shoulders and all the way back down. If that's not comfortable for you today, go ahead and go halfway and back down. So that's gonna be that modification, just halfway and back down. Do whatever feels best for you today. And then the second movement is gonna be bent over rows. So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, pushing our hips back like an RDL. And then we're gonna have our hands straight out in front, squeezing through the back, squeezing our armpits together and coming back down. So we're squeezing, pulling the weight towards our butt and back down. So that's the third set of exercises. And then the fourth, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do kickstand RDL. So we're gonna do all on one leg for 30 seconds and then all on the other leg for 30 seconds. So those are gonna be the two exercises. So for these, we're gonna put all of our weight on one foot. So I'm starting with my left. My right foot is going to line up in the middle of the arch of my foot. And we're not putting any weight here. That's just to help us with balance. And then we'll go down into our RDL and back. So from the side here, you're gonna push your hips back, keeping the weight as close to your legs as you can. Core nice and tight, back is flat, squeeze the glutes and come back up. So again, all on one side and then we'll switch and do all on the other side. And then for the sixth thing, or for, sorry, for the fifth thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do pike push-ups and plank pull-throughs. So for the pike push-ups, we don't need any weight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be on the ground in a plank position. We're gonna push ourselves up into that pike position. So back is flat, core is tight. And we're gonna bring our head in between our hands and push back up. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing, we're gonna do our plank pull through. So I'll show this from two different angles. So I'll show from this first. So we're gonna be in that plank position and I'm only gonna show it this way. So we're in a plank position and our weight is gonna be on one side of our body here. So my dumbbells right here. I'm in a plank. I'm gonna take my opposite hand. So it's on my left side, take my right hand, grabbing the dumbbell, placing it on the other side and then grabbing it again. I'm just bringing it back and forth using my core to keep myself stable. And then our last two exercises, we're gonna do dead bugs and toe touches. So for these dead bugs, we're on the ground and we want our dumbbells to be straight out in the air. 
And instead of a regular dead bug where we move our arm and her leg, we're just gonna move the legs here. So we're keeping our arms above our head with our weight here, extending one leg, squeezing the core, and then opposite leg, squeezing the core. So we're gonna exhale as we come back. And then same thing for toe touches, feet straight in the air, bring the dumbbells towards the toes and back down. So we're exhaling as we come up and then back down. All right, so that is the whole circuit that we're gonna do today. And wow, the sun is shining pretty brightly behind me. Uh, so that's gonna be our circuit today. So we can go ahead and get started with a warm up. I'm gonna try and move this a little bit because those lines are stuck open. So um, for our warm up, we're gonna go ahead and make our way onto the ground. We're gonna do a hip flexor hamstring stretch. So we're gonna be in a half kneeling position here. So one knee on the ground, one foot on the ground. And we're gonna push our hips forward, tuck our pelvis under so our back is nice and flat. Core is tight, we're pushing those hips forward. We're reaching above our head with that same arm of the knee that's on the ground. And then we're gonna go ahead and rock back into a hamstring stretch. So bringing our glute to our heel, toes and the front leg are straight up. Feeling that stretch all the way through the calf and the hamstring here. And on our exhale, we're gonna go ahead and go back into that hip flexor stretch. So tucking the pelvis, pushing those hips forward, reaching our hand overhead. Big deep belly breath, nice long exhale and rocking back into our hamstring stretch. So toes to the ceiling. Exhaling our tightness. And we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to the other side now. So my left knee's on the ground, right foot on the ground, same thing. So we're tucking our pelvis, pushing our hips forward, reaching our hand above our head, same arm of the knee that's on the ground. So my left arm is above head. And we're gonna exhale, rock back into that hamstring stretch. So toes in the air towards the ceiling, bending down as close as we can onto that knee. Doing a stretch to the whole back of the leg. And we're gonna exhale and do one more each way. So push those hips forward, reach our hand above head, tuck in the pelvis, keeping that core tight, feeling that stretch opening up the front of our hip. And we're gonna exhale back into that hamstring stretch. And on that next exhale, we can go ahead and come out of that stretch. And then the last portion of our warm up is going to be a plank to pike. We're just going to do three of these, get our shoulders warmed up. So we're going to be in a plank position. So on our hands and our toes, core is nice and tight. We're going to push ourselves up into that pike position or a down dog position. So using those shoulders, feeling the stretch to the calves a little bit, stretching our back and then back to that plank. Two more here, pushing up and back down to plank. And last one here, push it on up. And back to plank. Awesome. Hope we're all ready now to get started. So going to start the timer here. Um, just a reminder, we are doing 30 seconds of the first exercise, 30 seconds of the second exercise, and we are gonna do that three times and then move on to the next set. So our first two exercises are bicep curl, 30 seconds and shoulder press 30 seconds. So I'm gonna start the timer here. We're gonna get going in three, two, one, and go. So we got 30 seconds of bicep curl. So arms are straight out in front, using our biceps to curl the weight up, making sure our core is nice and tight. We also wanna make sure we're not swinging. So if I turn to the side here, I'm not going forward and swing the weight up. If you're doing that, the weight's a little too heavy. You wanna make sure just using our biceps and coming on up. And we're gonna be switching over to our shoulder press in three, two, one. So arms out, overhead and back down. We wanna make sure our elbows are slightly in front of our shoulders. We're squeezing our shoulders, keeping our shoulder blades tucked down and back. Our core is tight. So same thing with bicep curls. We wanna make sure our core is tight so our, we're not arching the back as we come up. If we start to arch our back like this, again, the weight is too heavy. Go ahead and drop that down a little bit. And we're going back to bicep curls in three, two, one. Awesome. We got two more of these, 30 seconds of each. 
And then we're gonna go right into those squats after that. So we got these bicep curls, squeezing through the bicep. We wanna make sure our grip is nice and loose. We don't wanna be having any white knuckles here. That's gonna engage our forearms a little bit too much. And switching over to presses in three, two, one. Weight right above those shoulders, pressing straight overhead. So we are using our shoulders, squeezing, making sure our core is nice and tight. Our shoulders are staying away from the ears here. Just using our shoulders. We don't wanna be swinging back and forth. We're using momentum, we need to drop that weight down a little bit. All right, switching back to curls here in three, two, one. All right, last two. So we got this last one of bicep curls, last one of shoulder presses. And we're gonna go right into those squats and the one and a half squats. It does help if you exhale as we contract the muscles. It will help give us a little bit more power here through the movement. Never underestimate the power of breathing. All right, we got shoulder presses in three, two, one. Last set of these, squeezing through the shoulders. Making sure again, our core is tight. Our, we want our back to be flat. We don't want to be arching that back as we lift. We want to be tucked pelvis, just like with that hip flexor stretch. We're tucking the pelvis, keeping everything nice and tight here. All right, we got those squats coming up here. In a few seconds, three, two, one. Okay, so again, you can either have the weights here or the weights down at your sides. I do prefer having them in front for me personally, but do whatever is most comfortable for you today. We wanna to make sure our feet are filled with apart. We're keeping our back flat and we're pushing our hips back, knees tracking past our second toe. Second toe from the single as well. So my knees are tracking out a little bit. Squeezing the glutes, keeping our core tight. Three, two, one, we're doing one and a half squats. So same thing, but instead of coming all the way back up, we're gonna go down halfway, all the way down, all the way up. As you can see, I did switch the way. I was holding the dumbbells so my shoulders are tired. <laughs> that is okay if you start to feel anything. Go ahead and switch that grip a little bit. All right, going back to regular squats in three, two, one, full squats again. So all the way down, all the way back up. Knees tracking past our second toe, squeezing the glutes on the way up. Core is tight, so that way our back is nice and flat. Wanna make sure we're not leaning too far forward with the chest. We wanna make parallel lines with our chest and our tibias or our shin bone. All right, one and a half squats, three, two, one. All the way down, halfway up, all the way back down, all the way back up. So same thing applies here. Knees track past our second toe. Heel, big toe, little toe, pushing the ground away from us, squeezing the glutes on the way up. Almost done with these and we got one more round. Then we're going to go down three, two, one. So it's our last one of squats. And we got one more, one and a half squats. And then we got a round of the world raises and our bent over rows after this. Make sure we're not forgetting to breathe here. Almost done with these squats. Great job. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, one and a half now. All the way down, halfway up, all the way back down again, and all the way up. Keeping that core tight. Back flat. Knees tracking past our second toe, heel big toe, little toe, pushing. The ground away from us. We got around the world raises coming up here in three, two, one. All right, so palms are facing forward, facing the camera. Keeping everything nice and tight, squeezing 
the shoulders all the way up and around. We should feel these in the fronts of our shoulders, a little bit through the backs of the shoulders as well. We wanna make sure we're not swinging the weight up and using momentum. We're going to bend over rows in three, two, one. So feet shoulder width apart, pushing our hips back, bringing the dumbbells towards our butt. We wanna make sure we're not coming up like this when we're doing this. Our legs are fixed, just driving our elbows up and back. Just using our back here, keeping that core tight. Around the world raises in three, two, one. Palms forward. And again, if coming all the way up is a little bit uncomfortable for you today, go ahead and just go straight up and back down. You want to, you can end parallel with those shoulders. You can also start to do that if your shoulders get really tired, which I know doing all these back to back makes it a little bit more tiring, but getting a good workout in this morning. We're starting the day off on the right foot. Three, two, one, and bent over rows. So feet shoulder width apart, pulling the weight back towards the glutes, making sure our elbows are getting above our torso. So you can see my elbows coming higher than my back. That's exactly what we want. That's how we know our back is engaged here. All right, we got one more round of each of these. Switching back to around the world in three, two, one. Palms forward, squeezing the shoulders all the way up and around and back down. Make sure we're not forgetting to breathe. We also wanna make sure we're not gripping the dumbbell too tight. Just like with those bicep curls, we're gonna have a nice loose grip so we're not engaging our forearms too much. We got one more round of bent over rows in three, two, one. Feet shoulders apart. Glutes are back. Chest is parallel with the ground. We're as parallel as we can make it. Pulling our hands, the dumbbells along the sides of our quads towards the glutes really engaging our back muscles here today. We got kickstand RDLs coming up in three, two, one. All right, so same thing. We're bending over, but we have all of our weight on one foot. The opposite toe is in line with the arch of the foot that we're using. Remember that leg is just there for balance. Wanna make sure we're pushing our hips back keeping the weight dragging along the front of our body so we're not using our back, we're only using our hamstrings. Three, two, one, switching to the other leg. So now I'm using my left leg. My right toe is keeping me nice and balanced. My shoulder blades are pinned back and down. Core is tight, pushing my hips back like I'm closing the door with my butt here. Don't forget to breathe. Squeeze those glutes as we come back up. Switching legs in three, two, one. Back to the first leg you started with. We got two more of these on each side. Now we're getting down on the ground for those pike push-ups and plank pull-throughs. Keep that core tight, back is nice and flat. Yeah, keeping those dumbbells as close to our legs as we can. So that way we're not engaging our low back. We're only using our glutes and our hamstrings here today. Three, two, one, switch to the other side. So pushing those hips back. If we start to go here, if you notice my hips aren't back, that made my low back be curved, which is not what we want. We wanna push those hips back as far as we can. Get a nice hip hinge here, core is tight. We got one more on each leg. We're switching over to that first leg here in three, two, one. Last side, um, last 30 seconds on this side. 
We got one more 30 seconds on the other side. If at any point in time, you need to pause for a second, get some water, definitely do that. You stay hydrated through these classes, super important. Stay hydrated throughout the day as well, especially after exercise. Three, two, one. All right, last time, last leg. Keeping those weights as close to our legs as we can. Have a slight bend in the knee, pushing those hips back like we're closing that door with our butt. Squeezing the butt on the way up. We got pike push-ups coming after this. Great job, three, two, one. Now we're on the ground, hands on the ground, toes on the ground. Butt is in the air, bringing our head in between our hands as close as we can to the ground, keeping our back tight. Shoulder blades are pulled down and back, pushing the ground away from us. And we got plank pull throughs here in three, two, one. So you can either do, you can do this on your knees if that's more comfortable, if you wanna bring the weight over on each side, or you can do it on your toes if you know that you're not gonna rock your hips. Wanna make sure our core is staying nice and tight here. As we pull the weight from side to side, we wanna pick it up off the ground. We don't wanna drag it across the ground. We wanna use those muscles here. And back to pipe pushups in three, two, one, toes in the air, and by toes in the air, I mean butt in the air, toes on the ground. Bringing our head in the middle of our hands, keeping our core tight, back is flat, shoulder blades are pinned together or pushing away from us. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's totally fine too. If you cannot fully really straighten your legs, we're going back to plank pull throughs here in three, two, one. So again, you can be on your knees for this. If you feel that more in your core, we just wanna make sure if we're on the knees that our core is rock hard tight. We're exhaling as we move the weight and we are having our hips forward. Our, our butt should not be up. We shouldn't be in a tabletop. Hips are forward, shoulders directly over the hands, lifting that weight off the ground. Back to pike push-ups here in three, two, one. Hands around, butt is in the air. Last round of these. And then we got dead bugs and toe touches. And then we're gonna do a nice cool down. And then we'll be able to carry on with the rest of our Thursday. It always feels nice to get a nice workout in to start the day as the sun is coming up. We get to see the sunrise. It's very fun for me. All right, three, two, one plank pull throughs. Again, if you're on your knees, like I am, making sure our hips are forward on a straight line from our head all the way through our knees. Doing this on our knees is gonna really help us from rotating those hips, because that is what tends to happen. I know I even do it when I'm on my toes. All right, we got that chorus assisted, resisted dead bugs here in three, two, one. So on our back, knees are 90 degrees in the air, dumbbells straight above. We're extending one leg, exhaling, pulling right back in. So just doing the legs. We want to pretend like we are holding a piece of paper behind our backs and we're not letting it slip out. So our pelvis is tucked. We are pushing our belly button towards the ground. Our low back should not come off the ground. And we're switching to toe touches here. So we're bringing the dumbbells towards our feet as we exhale and lift the dumbbells up. Go. That way I can see the timer. Okay, we're exhaling. Legs are as straight as we can make them. Using our core, not our momentum here. Three, two, one back to dead bugs. So we're extending our leg, exhaling, 
bringing it back. If you start to feel your low back come off of the ground, don't move your foot out as far. So if you go down all the way and your low back is off the ground, bring that foot up a little bit more. It will definitely help with that. If we pretend like we got an apple, we're crushing it with our stomach, it's gonna help us keep that core engaged as we pull our legs back. Three, two, one, and toe touches. So the exhale as we come up is gonna help us engage our core a little bit better, making sure we're only using our core to come back up. We're not using our momentum. I'm gonna lay the head all the way back down on the ground here. Three, two, one. All right, last one, dead bugs here. So holding those dumbbells up as high as we can, keeping those arms straight, keeping that low back plastered on the ground. We should be using our core to come back to center, not the legs. If you start to feel this in your hips, means we are pulling with our hip flexors and not with our core. Awesome, three, two, one. Last thing, toe touches, and then we'll cool down. Y'all do awesome, keep up the good work. Push into these final 30 seconds, doing awesome. My core is on fire right now, not a bad thing. Awesome job, three, two, one. And we are done with the circuit. Awesome job. We have a few minutes to do this cool down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get onto our hands and our knees. And we're gonna go ahead and do some quadruped rocking with a little bit of a reach through. So I'm gonna be on this front angle here. And I'm gonna stick one of my legs out like a kickstand. So my right leg is straight out to the side. My heel, big toe, little toe are on the ground. I'm gonna rock back, bringing my glutes towards my heels and my right leg is out to the side. So I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna reach through as far as I can through my left arm and my left leg and then place that hand back and rock back to center. So we're gonna do two more of these and then we'll switch to the other side. So rocking back, glute to heel, reaching as far as we can, feeling that stretch to the back. Hand back on the ground, coming back to center. And last one, rocking back, keeping our core tight, reaching through as far as you can. Hand on the ground, back to center. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and move to the other side. So now my left leg is straight out to the side. Big toe, heel, toe, big, oh my gosh, big toe, little toe and heel on the ground. We're gonna rock back, glute to heel. I'm gonna take my left arm now reach through my right arm, my right leg, and then squeeze the glute and rock back up. This is gonna give us a nice hip stretch as well as a nice back stretch at the same time. Awesome, and let's go ahead and do one more here. So rocking back, reaching through, plane the hand on the ground, back to center. We can bring that knee in, and that is gonna be all we have time for today. Thank you so much for coming. I love starting my day off with a great workout with everyone. Um, don't forget today is Thursday. So we do have exercise with Exos with me at 12 p.m. today. Um, also, don't forget we are having our membership satisfaction survey. And so if you, I'm putting the link in the chat so that way you can fill that out. It's also up on our um, Slack channel. So don't forget to fill that out before next Friday. And by, uh, yep, the 26th is the last day for that. So thank you again for coming. I hope to see you at 12 p.m. We also have two stretch breaks today. So if you need a little bit of stretch, join us for that. And I will see you hopefully later today.